Jane's Got Talent. Thank you. You look fabulous. Thank you. What's your name? Sal Bunniga, but you can call me Sal. Hello, Sal. So how old are you, Sal? I'm ten. And whereabouts do you live? I live in Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. And are you excited about being on Britain's Got Talent? Definitely. And what are you going to sing for us today? I'm singing Trolley Song by Judy Garland. So you're into show tunes. Would you like to be on the West End stage one day? Yes. The stage is yours. Thank you. With my high starch collar and my high top shoes and my hair pulled high up on my head, I want to lose a jolly. I want a trolley and lost my heart instead. Yeah. Clang, 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 when the trolley. Ding, 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 when the bell. And I stopped the song. You what? From the moment I saw him, I fell. OK. I love you, but I didn't love the song. I'll tell you why, because it's the sort of song I imagine if David ever released a single. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it would be. And I couldn't get that out of my head. I've just got your song list here. Can I hear the Greatest Showman song? Because then we can hear a different part of your voice. Yeah. Bless her. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream. Me getting loud now. Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand, will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you, oh, the shine of a thousand spotlights. Oh, the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Come on, girl. Never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it'll never be enough. Never be Nika, that is a mountain of a song, and you conquered it. Thank you. I cannot get my head around the fact that you're 10 years old, mm. standing up there like a little professional. Thank you. It's quite an old-fashioned voice that you've got, which I love, and you've hit every single note. Well Thank done. Ah. So Panika, I gotta be honest with you. 
You absolutely nailed it. You're a gutsy little thing. You really, really are. I am going to kick this off with a mighty yes. Thank you. So proud of you, darling. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Absolutely yes from me. Thank you. You got four yeses. Yeah! You did it! Well done! She was a sweet girl. That was amazing. That was fantastic. Every single person <laughs> on their feet. How did that feel? It was awesome. <laughs> Sophie Fatu. Sophie, tell me, how old are you? Five. And where do you come from? I live in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. <laughs> Did you have to take an airplane to get here? Yeah. Oh my God, there was so much people. I know. <laughs> I know so many. Oh my God. So was this the first time you've been on an airplane to come and see us? Yeah, my favorite judge is Mr. Simon. Why? You're just doing everything right right now. Mr. Simon, <laughs> I saw the dream about you. I saw that he pushed the golden button. <laughs> Chicky. Chicky. <laughs> well, you never know. It might happen. I wish you good luck. Should we go to your favorite judge first? Well, we weren't expecting that, Sophie. Sophie, you know what? I love that song. And normally people about 90 sing that song about what their life's been about, and you sing it at five. You are hilarious. I want you to date my son. <laughs> <laughs> He's just split up with his girlfriend, so I'm going to have to make an introduction. Uh, he's going to love you, but you are adorable, Sophie. Well done. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? You are just so cute. From Thank your, you. You're welcome. And you sung like an angel. Thank well done, you. Howie? Wow, you did it your way, didn't you? That was amazing. You are the most adorable, cutest, talented little thing I have seen on that stage. Thank you. Aww. Sophie, I think you should be very proud of yourself. We see so many people here, a lot of grown-ups, and they're shaking. They are so nervous. And you just did it like that. Thank you. 
All right, guys, let's vote. Howie. Yes. Thank you. Mel. Oh, I have to say yes to you. You are happiness in a bottle, young lady. You got three yeses. So, Sophie, I'm going to give you your fourth yes. You're going to be in the next round. You did it. You did it. Welcome, welcome. What's your name? My name is Marcin. How old are you? I'm 18. I just turned a couple of months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, so I actually come from Poland, from a very small city. Oh, wow. But soon I'm going to relocate here in the States because I got accepted to college. Oh! Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do for us today? So I'm a guitarist, as you can tell. I don't sing. Oh. And why, why America's Got Talent? First of all, it's like the best show on earth, so, so that's the best reason. That's awesome. We don't want to hold you up. We're excited to see what you got. Thank you so much. World performance, great job. Simon, let's start off with you. Amazing, actually amazing. I know how difficult it is because I tried to learn the guitar when I was about your age. I hated it so much, I threw a toffee at the guitar teacher and he punched me in the face. So, 99% <laughs> of the people who come on stage with the guitar can't play the guitar. You've just demonstrated what that thing was actually invented for. So, respect, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Wow, I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. There's obviously a different kind of artistic passion that you have, and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. It was stunning, absolutely stunning. Yes, thank you so much. How it... You didn't play the guitar. You murdered the guitar. Cool. I think you're going to end up in college teaching them something rather than they teach well, you. I appreciate you saying that. I think that. you just taught the world something. Well, let's take it to a vote. I'd like to start it off with a hell yeah! <laughs> Julianne. Hell yeah! Woo! Thank, thank you so much. Simon. Absolutely a million percent yes.
Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Yeah. Who are you, miss? Who are you? I'm mom. Oh, I'm hi, Tina mom. Lee. Hi, hi Tina. How hi, are you? What are you going to do here for us today? I'm going to sing a song for you on the piano. I love it. <laughs> Tina, tell us a little bit about Cody. Cody is blind and autistic. Oh. Wow. We found out that he loved music really early on. He listened and his eyes just went huge. And he started singing. And that's when I just, I was in tears because that's when I realized, oh my gosh, he's an entertainer. So. Yeah. Go on, Cody. Go on. in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs and I've made some bad rhymes I've acted on my life in stages 10,000 people watching yeah and we're alone now and I'm singing a song to you I love you in a place oh there's no space or time I love you from my life you're a friend of mine but when my life is over this year and congratulations it's the toughest job I've ever had and the most rewarding job I've ever had you just want to give your kids the moon the stars and the rainbows and tonight I'm gonna give you something special I'm every mountain swim every ocean just to be with you Do you want the least? Cody Lee, you have got the golden buzzer from Gabrielle Union. You will be going all the way to the live shows in Hollywood. Today. I'm doing good. What 
what's your name and how old are you? My name is Celine and I'm nine years old. You're nine years old. This is my dream being in America's Got Talent. Aww. Aww. So what are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be singing. Oh, wow. 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 Have you got any brothers or sisters? I got a little sister. And what's her name? Her name is Dion. Aww. Celine and Dion. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> really? So I'm guessing your parents love Celine Dion. Yes, of course. Right. So when did you realize that you had a great singing voice? When I was in the car, my dad's driving, and then suddenly I just sang My Heart Will Go On, and then he was like, wow. wow. Why Celine Dion sing? song? Yeah. We got that. We've worked that out, Mel. There's a Celine Dion connection. <laughs> I know, but I'm just... Yeah. So, what, so what kind of music do you like to Dion. listen to? I like... Uh, Celine like, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> And, and what is your big dream when you To be you the next up? Celine Dion. She's got it. <laughs> this is my dream. <laughs> this is your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celine, can um, I ask you a question? Yeah. What artist are you going to be singing? Celine Dion. Duh. <laughs> well, Celine, good luck. Thank you. I'm Sumant. And I'm Sonali. And we are called the Bad Salsa. Bad Salsa? Bad Salsa? Bad Salsa. You're trying to keep the ball low, I see. The bar. The bar. Isn't it the ball? No, the bar. The bar. Thanks. Are you going to do Latin Salsa? It's actually Bad Salsa. But it's Salsa. It's Salsa. But it's bad. Literally, it is Bad Salsa because it's Bivash Academy of Dance, ah. B-A-D, Bad Salsa. Oh, it's an acronym. Got it. So, where are you from? We are from Kolkata, India. How old are you both? Uh, I'm 20. And I'm 15. Oh. oh my gosh. And why America has got talent? So, back there, uh, Sonali's father is a farmer. Yeah. And he used to earn a dollar a day. So she has an amazing journey to this stage, performing uh, in front of this audience and you lovely judges. We are feeling very proud and very blessed to stand over here. I want to thank you, first of all, for flying so many hours to come for this audition. And I wish you the most of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Oh.
Wow! That was amazing. Thank you. Howie, what did you think? You use the acronym BAD, B-A-D. You are the opposite of BAD. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You are surprising, you are energetic, that looked dangerous. It was fast, it was entertaining. I loved it. Thank you. Sophia. It was exciting. I wanted to dance, but then I got scared because I couldn't take my eyes off you. You look beautiful together. Thank, Thank you. you. I loved you guys, too. I have seen so much dance on the stage, but there's so many moves that you guys did that I truly have not seen before. You know what it felt like? You know like when you watch a movie and you press fast forward? Yes! Because <laughs> it was so fast <laughs> in a fantastic way. Thank you for flying over, choosing our show to be on. It means a lot to us because without people like you, we have no show. So this was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Let's vote. I'm going to give you a first yes. Thank you. Excuse me. Sophia. Second yes. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. Thank you. Hey. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Simon. You have four yeses. are the baddest mofo flautist that we've ever seen. But I think on this night, it was not exactly your night. I just don't know why that instrument was invented. <laughs> no, I'm not being rude. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> I just can't think of anyone who would buy a flute record, ever. We used to have to play something called a recorder at school, which was torture, by the way. <laughs> OK, well, look, I'm going to say no, I'm afraid. OK. Thank you very much. I mean, even the word flautist is annoying. Listen, I respect it. I was, like, back there going, eh. <laughs> but see, a lot of times they don't understand us. It's one of those things that when, when I hear it, it's just annoying. My name is Brandon Coppridge. Do you know that Terry, too, is a flautist? I heard maybe something like that. <laughs> you heard in the flautist streets that... Uh, <laughs> well, see, there's not too many of us boys playing the flute, so we got to represent. I know that people like playing them. Does anyone like listening to them? <laughs> no. Ooh. That was rough. Simon's a tough sell. He's a tough sell with the flute. Hold on, hold on. You know, the flute's a very beautiful and dynamic instrument. There's something for everybody in it. Okay, well, it's all yours. All right, thank you guys.
a problem. Since these guys liked it so much, yes. we hated it. I'm going to say no, you can do it again for them. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, wait, Damon! Damon! Loudest you night! Yes. How are you? Um, I'm good, thank you. I've been very well looked after. Oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah. OK. And what's your name? My name is Johnny Awesome. Come on, Johnny. Be awesome. I'm 39. Um, I'm from Derby, but I live in Croydon. OK. And are you married? Yeah, I'm married and I've got two small children. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a full-time comedian, yeah. So tell me, Johnny, what's missing? What has been missing? Um, I wanted to come and play on a big stage to a theatre full of people, and I'm here, and I'm very excited about doing it. What, what is that break you need? Well, I'll be totally honest. I need the chance to play to a big audience. Yeah. Such as Britain's Got Talent. OK. I'm really hoping this is going to go well, Johnny. Thank you. Um, actually, just before I start, around index all that, can you just pop out here for one second? Just... I just... Sorry. Anne, I'll just put you there. there. Just stand next to me. And, Deck, if you just okay. go there... Yeah, sure. I know this is crazy, but I just want to see if you can do something, right? You stay stood there. When I go down, guys, you yeah. stay there. Yeah. When I come back up again, I want to see if you guys can go down. So, look, here we go. Right. I'm going down, yeah. and then I'm coming back up, and you're going down. Can we get a rhythm going? Is there a rhythm to that? Is there any <laughs> rhythm? Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. Yes. I like this. Let me just ask you one quick question. Have you boys ever been to see a musical in the West End? Yeah, yeah. yeah which, which one did you see? Oh, I've seen loads. Uh, Wicked. Wicked? Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. What makes me laugh, though, is that... <laughs> when you go and see a musical, <laughs> some guy will just start belting out a song. Start belting out a song. Apparently it's not unusual. In fact, the band will start to play along. And then the music swells up And the lights will change <laughs> This is a musical And we're doing the dance Thank God it's not Chicago Or we'd be in our pants This is a musical We're the talk of the town Our choreographer has made us Baba for now This is a musical featuring And, and Deck. Oh, boys, yeah. when you're starring in a musical, yes. it's important <laughs> that you can sing. Whoa, 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 the guys, that ain't the only thing. No, no, you've got to dress up right yeah. nice. for the opening night. And with the costume, you'll feel like a king. King, good. This, this is a musical, <laughs> and we're wearing our hats Because this is a musical, we don't look like rats This yes, is a musical it. featuring Ant and Jack <laughs> Now, audience, <laughs> double claps, come on! Oh, no, even Simon Cowell is doing it That's great, and... Oh, God, boys, yes. oh, no! Yes. Oh, my God, put your arms around me I think we're about to be part of a chorus line of... Well done. Oh, oh, I love 
And you featured Anton Deck, OBE. <laughs> yes, from Oz, yes, from me. It was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Johnny, it was so smart. I think this whole kind of musical thing, singing, it really works for you because it makes you stand out. Thank you, Simon. I like you a lot. We're going to vote. David? Well, obviously, I'm going to say yes! Thank you, David. I'm saying yes. Thank you very much. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Johnny Awesome, you deserve and you've got four yeses. Congratulations. So much. Thanks, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> you did it. We did it, Johnny. We're going to talk. We did it. Come on. We're going to talk. Let's talk another guy. What a treat. What a treat. Absolutely awesome, Johnny Awesome. Thank you so much for doing What will we do next time? What, are we in? Leave it with me, boys. I've got plenty of ideas. Good evening. Hi. What's your name? My name is Angelica Hale. And where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I'm nine years old, and I just found out that I'm going to be a big sister. Wow! Mama! Who do you want to be like? I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow! I like to be a superstar. Wow! And I'm so happy to be here because, like, I've been watching your show on YouTube, and now I feel like, like, I'm in it, and I'm, like, so... Like, awesome. <laughs> and not only are you in it, you're in it to... To win it! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Wow. Wow, my little girl. Go ahead, Angelica. Okay, Win it for you. yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Whitney Houston. You're broken down and tired of a living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fighter. Wow. But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move.
happen. <laughs> you're tiny, your voice is huge. I have a feeling we may be looking at a star in the future. Thank you. Heidi. Wow, I had goosebumps everywhere. You're a clever little girl and you said you want to be a superstar. I think that might happen for you. Let me tell you. You are so special and your voice is so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. By the way, Mel B, you're my favorite judge. Yes. Don't give me a high. You're so good. You're all going so well. Angelica, you said you've been watching this on YouTube and you felt like now you're in it. I believe that not only are you in it, I predict that all your dreams are going to come true, young lady. <laughs> Mel, vote. Oh, yes, a million times over. Yes, 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 yes. Ivy. Of course it's a yes. A yes. big fat yes. Simon, who did you say your favorite judge was? Me. <laughs> Look, I mean... <laughs> Angelica, you are absolutely wow. brilliant. Love you. I'm, I'm honored that I'm your favorite judge as well. You've got three yeses. <laughs> so you've got three yeses. I'm going to give you your fourth. You have four yeses. <laughs> What's your names? I'm Grace. And I'm Ali. OK, and what's the name of the act? Grace and Ali. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you both? Um, I'm 17. And I'm 16. Where are you both from? I'm from Middlesbrough. Hartlepool. How did you two meet? We went to college to do performing arts, and we met there. And? We had to do a dance duet in our show. Yeah. <laughs> and... Things kind of went on from there. What do you mean? Well, it's official. <laughs> so you fell in love whilst you were dancing together? Yeah. Aww. And who came up with the choreography? Us two. You two? Yeah. Good. OK, well, I hope it goes well. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.
Thank you very much, guys. Let me go to Alicia. You are two of the most talented dancers we have seen by a clear mile. You are absolutely stunning together to watch. <laughs> Skill level was insane. You were so in sync, you told a brilliant story. I was in awe of your talent. Thank you. The choreography was stunning. It was absolutely perfect. It was really, really moving, and I can't believe how young you both are. It's incredible. You obviously are amazingly talented, and the song choice was sensational. Look, we're going to vote now. David. I'm going to say yes. Alicia. It's a yes from me. Amanda. Yes from me. You got four yeses. Congratulations. I call it the death drop. Tyra. Tyra. Suspended high above the stage, Damien will climb into a simple wooden box. He will then be handcuffed and the lid will be nailed completely shut by his assistants. The only support keeping that box in the air is this rope looped through those pulleys and secured here, directly above this blowtorch. More dangerous, there will be fire. Damien must escape before the rope burns through and the box comes crashing down into three solid steel spikes, annihilating anything or anyone inside of it. Damien. Are you ready? Light the blowtorch, please. He's behind us. <laughs> Is he dead or Did alive? Did something really go wrong this time?
The guy is stuck in a box, over fire, and you hit an X. But what went wrong then? Shh. Oh. Okay, okay, everybody. Okay, okay. La, 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 la. There was a technical problem that was not Damien's fault. I'm bringing Inglewood up into Hollywood tonight. <laughs> things happen. It was not his fault. Simon, I'm sure you've experienced things before, live, crazy stuff happening. How, how does this make you feel right well, now? Well, I'm kind of imagining this would be like Mel B's wedding night. A lot of ants. <laughs> uh, Anticipation, not much promise or delivery. Moby is out. <laughs> this is live TV, y'all. This is Guess live what? TV. It's a beautiful day. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Reuben Gray. And where are you from? I'm from Guildford. Okay. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you, Reuben. Nice to meet you too. Who are you here with? I'm with my mum and my girlfriend. Quite a few. And who's your biggest fan? Who's your biggest supporter? My dad. Definitely. Is he? Yeah. What, more than your mum? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> I didn't think he was here. <laughs> you didn't know he was here? I thought he was working. He's gone to bits now. He works, he works away from home a lot, and uh, whenever I play, play anywhere, he'll, he'll always come. Oh, he surprised, he surprised him! All right, Ruben, well, look, it's now a family occasion. Now, tell me what you're going to sing. I'm going to sing my own song called Lifeline. I wrote it about a year ago, and it's about my girlfriend. I didn't really treat right, and uh, it's, it's an apology, really. Wow. So did you dump her? Simon! No. <laughs> I don't know. No, uh, she dumped me. <laughs> okay, so you've got a back, and this song is to her. This song's to her. Good luck. Thank you very much. Why so? I didn't mean to bruise your heart I'm so sorry it drove us this far apart Drowning in a sea full of tears I thought we could have lasted for years I still do want to live my life with you and so throw Expectations I will defy Girl, I'm begging on my knees Come on, come on, baby, please So throw me, throw me a lifeline, baby Say that I'm really sorry Pick up the phone 
OK, David, what a talented young man you are. I mean... Incredible to write such a beautiful song at your tender age, just sing it so beautifully, and it was incredible. Well, Pop! Ruben, I have so much admiration for you. You know, you're up there, you're bearing your heart and soul, and that makes you really vulnerable, and you've shared a piece of, you know, your life story with us. I'm sure your dad was proud. Well done. Uh, that was a great audition, Ruben. You come on and be authentic, be original, take risks. I really, really like the song. You've got talent, you really have. Thank you very much. We're going to vote. And David, I'm going to say yes. Thank you very much. It's a yes from me, Ruben. I really loved the song. It's definitely yes from me. Thank you. Guess what, Ruben? You've got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations, guys. Well up. Hello. Hello. Okay, what are your names? Sehi. I'm Shannon. And who are you here with today? Joku. Tofu? No, Joku. 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 <laughs> Joku. What is Joku, Joku. going to do? Mel's got it. She's going to play the keyboard and she'll play Market Beautiful. Are you serious? Yes. yes she plays positive. the piano. She does. Yes. She's going to play that keyboard no right way. there. But no, she's Yes, not. she picked it up very quickly. She's very intelligent. Amazing. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I can't you wait to, to see that. Let's do it. Good luck, baby. <laughs> do your thing. Wait a minute. Hi girls. Hello. How are you all doing? We're fine, thank you. Just a little nervous. That's understandable. What's your name? My name's Holly. Holly, okay. What's the name of your choir? How do you know they're a choir? I just presume they're a choir because they look like they're about to sing. We're called Angelicus. Um, so tell me a little bit about your choir. We're schoolgirls from Slanesley in South Wales, aged 12 and up. And how long have you all been singing together? Just a bit less than a year. Less than a year. And do you think you can win? We'll try our best. <laughs> Who or what inspires your choir? Our inspiration is our teacher, Mr Williams. He's our hero. Is Mr Williams here with you? Yes. What's so special about Mr. Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams is over there. He's just such a great teacher and he brings out the best in all of us. But he's had a difficult year. Really? Mr. Williams was in a terrible car crash. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. He was badly injured, but he fought back to be there for us and make Angelicus happen. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we wish you the best of luck. I hope it goes well. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Say something, and I've heard this song a lot. This was, in my opinion, the most beautiful, incredible version. Of the song. Really, really, it touched me. I thought it was sensational. I am very excited for your future. Amanda, you are the most lovely bunch of girls. It was so beautiful. The harmonising was gorgeous. I thought it was a stunning performance. Really, you did Wales proud. Well, it's mind-blowing to think that you are schoolgirls from Wales, not all professional singers, because it just sounded so perfect and beautiful. came out was just heavenly and I think everyone in this room felt it there's something so special about you we're really excited for you and I can't wait to see what you guys do next well done let's go David yes a yes from me a yes from me four big fat yeses Hang on a second. I'd like Mr. Williams to come up to the stage. Are you 
kidding. Well done. Congratulations. Wow. Wow, Zoe. I love that. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, very. When you woke up this morning and it was like, oh, God, it's my audition day, what was the first thing that was in your head? Meeting you, Simon. You're my idol, literally. I love you so much. <laughs> and doing my best for everybody. But, but mainly me. <laughs> I get it. You're the best, like, I... <laughs> and how old are you? 13 years old. You know that you win a million dollars if you win the show? Yeah. What would you do with the money? I would buy a guinea pig. <laughs> wow. No one's ever said that. I would call him Simon Cowell, and then my sister, if she gets one, who will call him Howie? <laughs> <laughs> Simon and Howie, the guinea pigs. OK, well, listen, we're all rooting for you, Charlotte. Good luck. Thank you. There's a guinea pig's life at stake here. <laughs> Name Simon Cowell. <laughs> I put a spell on you. Gosh, I'm gonna tell you, you are beautiful and sassy and everything all rolled in the one and you blew the roof off the house. Thank you. Gabrielle. Are you sure you're 13? Yeah, I'm sure. Cause honey, I felt like the rent was due, your man done did you wrong. <laughs> You've got a depth and a soul and I'm here for all of this. Thank you. I think your voice is strong, it's powerful, but it's not overdone. I just love you. Thank you. I could see how much you really respected the artist. I would say to you, if you make it through to the live show, Charlotte, you've got to drop backing tracks, you know? Because when you let go, you're at your best. But we've got to go to the important part. How are yes or no? She put a spell on me, it's yes. Thank you so much. Gabrielle. You've got two yeses. Thank you. Julia. Absolutely, you got three. Thank you. Actually, no, you don't. You've actually got four yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
Hello. What's your name? My name is Johnny Manuel. Okay, tell me a bit about you, Johnny. Well, I'm from Flint, Michigan, and I've been singing most of my life. Where have you been singing for most of your life? Um, I got signed when I was around 14 years old to a record label. Okay. I presume it didn't work out. It did not work out. I mean, as a kid, I thought that, you know, I was going to take off and see the stars, and obviously it didn't happen that way. You still got the dream. What do you hope could happen off the back of this? Oh, my God. I hope what can happen is that I'm finally able to be who I am and present myself and my music to the world. Well, listen, Johnny, I really hope this works out for you. Thank you. I do, too. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. had a journey to get here but thank you thank you thank you for showing up thank you so much Heidi gosh this is not what it sounds like when I sing that song in the shower <laughs> you are incredible thank you so much Heidi. I appreciate that I love the fact that little shy Johnny's really a diva <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And I want to see a bit more of that. Okay. Yeah. But what's great about you is you are somebody who can nail and sell a song. Thank you. It means a lot. Now we are going to have to vote. Let me start with Howie. Well, you're not going to be surprised by my answer. It's a yes for me. No. I love it. Yes. Howie. Of course you're going to get another yes from me. Yes. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, Johnny Manuel, you are going through with four yeses. Yay! Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.
Now, husband and wife? Yes. Okay, and just tell me your names, please. Uh, my name is Marcelito Pomoy. Marcelito? Yeah. And you are? And I am Joanne Pomoy. And where are you both from? We are both from the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> now, you're not the act, are you? I'm not. Okay. So, the reason why I'm here is to support him all throughout. Okay, good. My husband, you know, he has very hard life in the Philippines. But then he won the Philippines Got Talent. Did he win? Yes. What year? 2011. Huh? I'm going to ask you one last question. Are you here to win it? Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I pray you'll be all right. That's his voice. And watch us where we go. In help us to be. In times when we don't know Della mia propria Let this be our prayer From the third eternity When shadows fill our day Lead us to a place Guide us with your must wait so well be wonderful singer with a young woman trapped inside of you. Thank you, sir. I want to see something different, something unique, and Marcelito, you just gave that to us. Thank it you. was absolutely brilliant. Incredible, incredible. Honestly, this is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Your voice, your range, your sound is just so out of this world. Good, Howie Bridget. Howie, you actually should do it. I think it'd be amazing. You are so worthy of the Golden Buzzer, and I think you're one of the most incredible singers. But this is very early in the night, and I can only choose one. So I'm going to keep my Golden Buzzer but it's up to our super fans, and I, I hope they vote you through. That was what I call a 10. As simple as that. I have a feeling that the super fans will put you through to the next round. Come on, super fans. Yes. Come on, super, super fans. fans. Super fans. Super fans. Super fans. Steady, so 
I've said this before, you are gutsy. You really, really are. And let me tell you something. This song was beautiful. Yeah. Your voice you. was beautiful. You know, where you were, where you were singing like somebody else's song before, I know who wrote this song, but you made it your version. Your tone, your pitch was stunning. It was laid back. And let me tell you, your dad is going to be so proud of you. You just made Simon emotional. I just heard it in his voice. Did you hear that too? Yeah. Heidi? Well, even though we're in this big theater, you made it very intimate. You made it very personal. You made it very, very moving for all of us. Evie, I'm very, very proud of you. Well Thank done. You. Howie? You know, I think we forget you're only 13 years old and you're already going through so much. So I have to commend you on your courage and your confidence. You. you know, your, your voice is beautiful, you look beautiful, and yes, your dad is so, so proud of you. I just hope America votes for you. Thanks. Hello? Okay. Okay, it says here that you are the sacred Rihanna. How have things changed since your audition? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Jesus. She's coming to us. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Like this. Oh my god. My imaginary friend likes to play. And she also likes fear.
Jesus. No. 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 I want to play with it. What does this mean? Hold it. Hold it. What do you mean, what does it mean? She wants to play with you, Mel. Okay, well then how is she going to do that? No. no. I like things like this. Hold it. You want this to end right now. Me too. Well, thank you, thank you. Go away now. Go away now. I feel like I'm in a horror film right now. The blood is wet. Oh, there's blood all over it. Oh, no. No one's completely freaked. This is too much for me. I'm going to go to my dressing room. My name's Benicio Bryant. How old are you? I'm 14. Are you singing for us? Yeah, I'll be singing. And what got you into music? Uh, my dad, I guess, uh, when he was like, he turned 40, he was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna be a rock star. We were all like looking at him like, okay, yeah, sure. And so then, you know, <laughs> he started taking lessons. He lessons. really did do that. I, I think he was having like a midnight uh, crisis or something. Guitar, but I've just been, you know, singing ever since I was like two. Amazing. Well, why did you come on AGT? Uh, I've been watching the show for so long, <laughs> and I wanted to come here so that I could share my music with the world, and uh, I just, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, we're excited, too. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do it.
first of all, what a song to choose. You're the entire package, and I just want to keep hearing you sing. Gabrielle. You came out here, your complete authentic self, let your voice do the talking, and you connected with all of us. Incredibly talented. And I love the denim on denim moment. <laughs> I like it. Howie. From the moment the song started, it built and built and built, and I went, how good is this gonna get? And it got great. Oh my God, You're amazing. You. Simon. I tell you what, for anyone who hasn't been on that stage, and you walk on there, it's terrifying. And I could see yeah. how scared you were, nervous you were, yet you pulled it together. Something about you. And for some reason, you remind me of the very first time I auditioned Harry Styles, which was, he had this presence about him. I think you are a real kind. Thank you so much. Really? Great. All right, let's take a vote. Gabrielle. I mean, it's America's Got Talent, and you're loaded with talent, so it's a yes for me. Oh, my God. Howie. Yes. I will give you your third yes. Simon. Vinicio. You got four yeses. <laughs> introduce you to my new friend, Oscar. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, D -D Darcy, I got a problem. A problem? Yeah, ever since you got the golden buzzer, I, I fell in love with Mel B. <laughs> Mel B, shh! That is a slight problem, I know. I think she's afraid of mice. Well, Oscar, I think your bigger problem is she's a human and you're a mouse. Well, I didn't think that would be an issue. I mean, Heidi was married to a seal. <laughs> so, I decided to sing her a song. Tell her how I feel. Shit it. Mel B, this is for you, baby. Okay, let's start with 
Heidi, how are you feeling? I mean, most people can't even sing with their mouth open, okay? <laughs> and you sing so beautifully with your mouth shut. I mean, <laughs> I you. can't believe it. I mean, Howie can't do anything with his mouth shut. No, I think you are fantastic. I love you. You were fantastic. Thank so, you. Amel, this was all for you, baby. It was all for you. Well, Darcy, you are just, I mean, you're just out of this world. You're my golden buzzer, and Oscar, I will date you. <laughs> wow, no in the stairwell, guys. No Air Force. It's all about Oscar. It's all about Oscar, but no, Darcy, Oscar, you Oscar, just... get a prenup. No, <laughs> That's what I forgot to do excuse last me. time. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yes, yes? No, no, B, you just look fantastic tonight. He said that you look fantastic tonight, Melby. Yeah. Thank you, so do you, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, get a room. One smaller than this one. Simon! What can I say, Darcy? You, young lady, and Oscar, get ready for the big time because it's coming your way. <laughs> Hello. Hello, oh. Simon. How are you? Excited and obviously slightly nervous. Nothing oh. to be nervous about. And tell me who you are, please. We are the Missing People Choir, and that's made up of a number of people who have children and other loved ones who have been missing. In my case, my son's been missing since 1988. Oh, what? Oh, God, how do you live with that? Are you all in, this, in, in the same boat here? That all, all of the choir members are in a similar place? There's quite a few of the choir got missing family. Other members of the choir are either workers with the charity yep. or supporters of the charity. What a brilliant idea. <laughs> Good luck.
thought that was an extraordinary song and it must echo how many of you feel. But I'm glad you've all got each other and I'm glad that you've turned such a dreadful thing into something so massively positive, which hopefully will help other people who've got family members who are lost. And I thought it was a really gorgeous audition and you did yourselves proud. Thank you very much. I have so much admiration for you. You know, this is really serious stuff, and you sang that song beautifully. Honestly, I was so touched. And I can't imagine how you got through it. It was so emotional for us watching it. It was, it was beautifully done, well done. Uh, look, guys, first of all, I, I have to pay you absolute respect for what you've just done. Because sometimes I think awareness is as, as important as anything else. So, it's incredible. OK, David. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. Alicia. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> That was beautiful. We, I think we all enjoyed singing that and yeah. give, giving our right. best and getting all that emotion out yes. to the audience and hopefully we'll get some results from that. Let's hope so. I'll rise up. Hello, Hello there. Hi. Hello. Hi, who are you guys? My name is Rehan. My name is Shakib. Nice to meet you guys. Tell me, Rehan, how old are you? Nine years. And how old are you? Old, 21 years. Have you flown from India all the way to do this? Yes. Yes. Wow. Well, welcome to America's Got Talent. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about like what it is like where you're from. Paint a little picture of us. They both are from Sikar. It's a small village and there are very less opportunities. So this is very big thing for us mm -hmm. to perform here. So is this the first time in America? Yes. yes. So what do you think about America so far? <laughs> yes. America thumbs up, yes? Cool, right? So tell us why America's got talent. <laughs> my dream. It was, let me tell you something, it always was my dream to be here too, and look what happened. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
much talent is coming from India. You know, V Unbeatable won America's Got Talent, the champions. Yes. And it's just amazing what you guys can do. You throw him around like he's a little rag doll, like it's nothing. Howie, what did you think? Well, I thought it was wonderful. Thank you, sir. You guys epitomize what this show is about, and it's about family and love and acceptance and talent. Thank you so much. Sophia, what did you think? I thought it was spectacular. I love how synchronized you guys are. It was like watching a mirror, and it looks beautiful. Thank you. Simon. You are, you are so likable. You have fantastic chemistry together. People are going to root for you. Simon, do you want to start the voting? I would love to, please. I want to be your first yes. Thank you so much. Sophia? I'm going to be your second yes. It was adorable. Thank you so much. Ali? I'm giving you your third yes. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How's life been since you've been on the show? Tell me. I'm sure you remember the first time I came up on the stage in front of y'all, I was so shy about my voice. I had zero confidence. But since the show, I have become an advocate for other burn survivors with Shriners Hospital. So good to see you. <laughs> well, now I'm excited to hear what you're going to say. <laughs> thank you. I hope you guys like it. Okay, good luck. <laughs> thank you. I'm looking forward to this. She's so fantastic. Okay, here we go again, here we go. There goes my heart beating And you are the reason I'm losing my sleep Come back now There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'll climb every mountain
they say that 99% of success is just showing up. You do so much more than just show up. You're so much more than your songs and your sound. You're more than a champion of singing and of talent. You're a champion of life. Uh, it was in this very theater that we met you for the first time. And you, I remember you being very shy. <laughs> but based on what I've seen tonight, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I didn't really like it that much. Oh. I actually loved it. Run! I have always wanted to do that for you. So deserve it. This is what defines the word champion. Catchy, you are so emotional right now. Please talk to us. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Ashley Marina. And where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ooh, that's where my husband is from. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> um, so you're a singer? Yep. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. You can chase a dream that seems so out of reach, and you know it might not. Song. Um, do you have a second song? Yes. Okay, that backing track was very overbearing. Um, so, can we try the second song a cappella so we get to hear your voice a yeah. little bit more clearly? Because I think you've got a good voice. It's a good song, but not right for you, the first one. Okay. Under the glow of the very bright lights I turn my face towards the warm night sky And I am not afraid of a thousand eyes Okay, uh, Ashley, you want my honest opinion? I think you brought the wrong songs with you today. You have given them like some time to change the song yeah. or to come back. Yeah. Why don't we do that with okay. her? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sophia's right. If you wouldn't mind coming back this afternoon and just try out in the time you've got the couple new ideas, my suggestion is maybe do your version of a guy's song rather than what you're doing at the moment, which is a bit karaoke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you later. Good okay. luck. Bye. Thank you. You can knock it out of the park. I, I believe in you. I'm happy that they gave me a second chance. It's all about your performance, all about the song. But I'm like, I'm like, whew. Try a Shawn Mendes song? Sure. We're going to play it for you, see if you like it. It's kind of hard because we're supposed to find a song that was written or sang by a boy. The, lyric, the lyrics aren't really appropriate. What's the name of the second one? Do you know the song? I don't really know the lyrics. What other boys' songs do you know? So someone younger, someone male. Oh yeah, we can just plug you in. Yeah, you, you have to feel comfortable with the song. Lyrics know? are hard for me. It's your choice, you know. If you're not feeling it, just tell us. We're trying to find a song. I just hope he likes it. We tried some songs and they just weren't like working out. I don't want to regret the song choice, but we don't have enough time. Hello, this is your mic, okay? Proud of you, honey. Love you. Yeah. Everybody wants to see what else you have. Are you ready? Okay, go out there and make it happen, Ashley. Hello. Hi. Again. Yep. You're back. Hello, Ashley. 
and what's the song you've, you've chosen? We tried out a couple songs and I was just not like getting into them. Okay. So I'm actually doing an original song. I know I can get into this because I wrote it. Because you so. wrote it. And what's the song about? It's about my dad. And yeah. It's about how he's always been there for me. And is he here today? Yep, he's backstage. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Let's hope this works out. Who's always there when I need you? Saving every day. Who always comes to my rescue? Whenever I'm afraid Who's the one that truly loves me Like no one else in the world You'll always be my hero Forever I'll be yours I think we've finally met Ashley. <laughs> I can't tell you how important that is. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Uh, what is your name? Annie. Annie? Annie, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. Aw, are you nervous that you're here? A little bit, yeah. I love how you look. I love your outfit. Thank you. Are you Australian? Yes, I am. That's a long journey. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring your family with you? Yes. Hmm. Down there. Hello. <laughs> well, we're very excited that you're here. What are you going to do today? I'm going to be singing. So how long have you been doing this? Since I was about seven years old. OK, so let's see what you can do. Go ahead. Thank you. Go on. Come on, oh. baby girl. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> it's so cute. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh. Never seen anybody do the things you do before. They say, move for me, move for me, move for me, yeah. When you're done, I'll make you do it all again, all again. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and play some both in mind. Who knows who's up me did when I was passing by?
was amazing. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I thought you were so confident, and I think this is what you're meant to do in your life. Howdy, what do you think? <laughs> Howdy to you. His name is now Howdy. Yes. Howdy. <laughs> Combination. That's dance monkey, right? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Y you're a beautiful little dance monkey. You are amazing. I'm telling you that, the, well, you are. It's just so stunning watching you, listening to you. You're a great performer. You sound great. You're a star. And the world now knows you. Thank you. Simon. I can tell how much you love that song. And I like a little twist on it. This is, what, a 14, 15-hour journey from where you came from? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. But while you're up there, your confidence was actually quite amazing. Amazing. Thank you. That was a great audition. Well done. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to vote. Um, I'm going to give you the first yes. Thank you. Howdy. I wanted to also give you your first yes, but that's taken, so take it. This will be your second. <laughs> Thank you. Simon. Which means it leaves me to give you your third yes. Danger act, right? Is that danger act? Yes, it's very dangerous. How tall are you? I'm 7'6". Seven, 7'6". Six. Seven, six. Come here for a second. Stand next to him. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Whoa! I'm a big fan of you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> he put his hands on your hip and whispered to you. What did he say? I can't say what he said. Okay. Uh, I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Okay, good luck. Thank you.
has turned up the heat. <laughs> uh, I want to go to Dwayne first. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Dwayne. <laughs> Welcome to America's Got Talent. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, just entertaining, you know. It's it's unique. Y'all taking us on this emotional roller coaster, like of danger, of passion, of. I want to be one of y'all. Like, can y'all just be my friends? Like, can we travel together? Definitely, sir. All right. Why not? Respect. We, we will feel, feel proud. Aww. You gotta learn the thing, though, babe. You gotta hit the thing. Yeah. You've got amazing personalities, you three. It's so crazy, so naughty. You having coconuts smashed on your coconuts. Does that make sense? <laughs> We only have seven acts we can put through. It is difficult because there is a lot at stake here. I mean, you can only see this on this show. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Simon. Oh, thank you. And what's your name? My name is Immy Davis. And where are you from, Immy? I'm from Wellington City. It's my neck of the woods. How old are you? I'm nine. Oh, my goodness. So... Are you going to sing? Yes, I am. OK. And what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing I Put a Spell on You by Screaming Jay Hawkins. Oh, my goodness. Why that song? It's because I've been practising it and... <laughs> Good reason! Everyone's making me look a bit stupid this year. I've realised that. I'm sorry. <laughs> You aren't stupid. I know I'm not, but I feel a bit stupid this year. So thank you, Imi. We've sort of become friends. I like that. OK, so why did you decide to come on the show, Imi? Because since I was five, I've been watching this show and I've always wanted to be on this show. Really? So do you think you're going to win, Imi? I'd love to. Well, look, I'm not going to ask any more questions because I'm feeling really, really stupid right now. So good luck. She's really sweet. Oh, yeah. And funny. Is extraordinary. 
It's like you transform, you're this cute nine-year-old, and then you're like, pow, take that. And we really did. We were under your spell. I loved it, Amy. Well done. Thank you. It sounded so retro, so vintage, so otherworldly. It's like you were channeling goodness knows what. It was amazing. David, you sure you weren't miming? I'm sure. <laughs> no, I, I was just I was just completely gobsmacked. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Were you expecting this reaction? No. You weren't, were you? No. No, that's what makes you so special. You were incredible. Thank you. But let's start with David. I'm going to say yes. I'm saying yes. It's a yes for me. I think you got about 5,000 yeses in me. about a new artist in a very, very long time. You definitely yes. are in a category of your own. I love the way you dance. I love the way you sound. I love you. I think you're a very, very special young lady. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mel B, so how old are you? You're 14. Yeah. And people made fun of the way you danced and the way you moved. People you know really what? Don't. They did. They said what? People really don't get me. Like, well, they well do we now. do get you. We get you. We get you, and you are incredible. You know what? Screw them. I want tickets to your show tonight. Thank and you. And the next night. And the next night. And the next night. Simon, you're amazing. Uh, here's the. Uh, normally, I give people advice what to do next. This is my advice. Don't listen to a single word I say. Do everything you exactly what you did tonight. That's amazing. Because that's what made that's this so incredible, Howie, an amazing pick again. We should be starting a record label together. It oh, was look at, outstanding. Look at Howie is over there gloating and smiling and Can glowing. I am so glowing. Second. You are so amazing that uh, Simon came over and gave me a hug in the middle. You are, there aren't even words. I just want to scream. I want to tell people to vote. Can I scream? Yes. Ah! Welcome. How are you? My heart is pretty much up here in my throat. 
<laughs> Tell me briefly your story and why you're here. Well, my name is Belinda Davids. I'm 43 years old and I'm from South Africa. And I'm here to further my career. Oh my, I'm shaking, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what has been your career path so far? Well, I'm a singer. Yeah. And uh, I do uh, Whitney Houston songs. Well, those are tough shoes to fill. I got the privilege of meeting her a couple of times and she was just the most amazing person. She had this glow yeah. about her. Yeah. Really do. So out of all the Whitney songs, why this song? <laughs> it reminds me so much of my boys. I have two boys and the most important things for me to do is to make my kids proud. Okay. Yeah. And now we know each other. Now the nerves are gone and everyone loves you. Let's do the performance of all time. Go smash it down! Yeah! Each day Stay is yet unknown. I broke my heart for every gain to taste the sweet. I face the pain. I rise and fall. Yet through it all, this much remains. I want one. What a way to end the show. Okay, let me go to David first, please. You've created such a massive moment tonight for all of us. So thank you. Thank you so much. What a way to close an amazing run of auditions with a class act. I want to see the name Belinda Davids in lights. You are amazing. You have that ability to move us with your voice. It was great. Thank you so much. 
This was just a fantastic end to a fantastic tour. I absolutely adore you, but still got a vote. I'm going to say yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. And you've just got 4,000 yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. I love her. mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord have mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> You know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six month old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Miley Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not going to clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an 
impression. Yeah. And then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. Kim Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. <clears throat> Come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. It's fine. All right, tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. Shots of Chardonnay, let's start a book club! <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. You know, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they are gonna rob you when they are bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a Victoria. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my god, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? <laughs> Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know. And I'm I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! What? Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's
all kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right, right? Okay, so my daughter turns 16 and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know, I'm like, you're 16, listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay? Right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask. Right, Howie? Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober. Not, not whatever. Okay? <laughs> I take out my flask, you know, have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? And I'm like, calm down, biatch. I'm not driving this bus. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. I have a twin sister, and I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like, whenever I say I have an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic, and she has low self-esteem, which is weird, because she has my face. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> that is our face. <laughs> you know I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'll be like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Oh! 
before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. I love him. But I'm happily married now. Oh. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father. But I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Coco Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. But they, <laughs> yes, boo, the Coco Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just gonna <laughs> toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all gonna do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, I would love to know. Um, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two-second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um, Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. Let's go, 
death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly, the comedian. I love that dude. But he's a loser. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> The other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? <laughs> If you going, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. There is a rope. What happened to the duct tape? There is the bleach. I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, it means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? <laughs> As soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? Oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date and a dude looks at you and goes, I would die for you, you better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now, 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. 
because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? <laughs> that same car jumps the curb. You're like, shh, I guess it was their time. I guess it was their time. <laughs> The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Um, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Uh, remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it, you want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 